Hi, I'm going to show you how to connect your distant laptop to one of these older smart boards. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to find the box that's on the wall when you go into the classroom. Once you get to that box, just unscrew and disconnect that cable. Now you should have a VGA cable that looks like this. What you're going to do is you're going to take that VGA cable when you unplug the teacher's computer. You're going to plug your computer right into where it says computer. Don't worry about screwing it in as long as you don't pull on the cord. It shouldn't go anywhere during a music class. Then what you're going to do is you take the other end of this VGA cable and it will not plug into your district laptop without an adapter. My adapter does not look like the one the district's going to give you. The district's going to give you one that looks a little bit bigger, but on one end it has a VGA port. The other end has the HDMI. Connect your cable to the VGA port on that adapter, then take that adapter and plug it in to the HDMI port on your computer. Now that you've done that, your picture from your screen should show up on the smart board. Your smart board will not have any sound right now. So if you want to have sound, you need to get one of these, with, which is a 1 8 mil aux cable. You could buy them like for your car. They're really cheap. They have them all over the place. So you'll want to take that cable, plug it in right underneath that VGA cable where it says audio. Then take the other end of that cable and plug it in to the headphone jack on your computer. Now, because you have an HDMI cable connected to your computer, the sound is going to think that it's going through the HDMI and you don't want your sound through the HDMI. You need it through that aux port. So take your mouse down here to the little speaker icon. Then you need to click on that little arrow next to it because right now it's on HDMI. You don't want it on HDMI. And you'll want to switch it to high definition audio. And your sound will then come through the computer. Finally, one last thing. The touch on your smart board will not be working with, without having a USB cable. So if you bought a USB printer cable and you want to use touch on the smart board with a pointer, has that square end, has this rectangle end. Take the rectangle end, plug it into your computer. Maybe I can plug it in today. Once you have that plugged in, this is where you might have to do a little bit of fishing. I went around and found them in the classrooms beforehand. Every smart board, these older ones, has this and then another cable that's connected to the teacher's computer. Disconnect the teacher's computer and then just plug your cable in and sometimes you have to find the right direction. And once you are plugged in, then touch on the smart board we'll start working for you. So that's all you need to do.